of sustainability goals. And that's going to take all of us to hold our sleeves and find a way through it. Food is community. Food is culture. The loud for the residents and the people to have a seat at the table and meaningful participation. They don't need us to dictate and tell them. They want to be a part of it. So embrace them in a real inclusive way. If it is not in law, how can we be sustainable if there are no policies in the city that are sustainable or speak to sustainability? If you, if you say you don't have access to healthy food, that same healthy food that we're going to be talking about today and beyond is available in your supermarket, but you're not making that choice. Why is that? There's no excuse why any person should not have access to fresh, healthy food, regardless of their socioeconomic status. As long as we can continue to get the uh, support from funding, policy, uh, to help it grow and become more sustainable, um, I think it will definitely demonstrate how urban agriculture not only contributes to the wellness of the community, but also the local economy. A community green development becomes a part of the community's fabric. You know, when we create more open, uh, healthy green spaces, uh, when we have a healthier uh, environment from uh, the air pollution that we're receiving, healthy and quality, quality food, those will become my aha moments when we are expanding the quality and full-time sustainability. One of the primary barriers is the lack of uh, education and um, the lack of access to high quality nutritious food. I really believe that we need a shift, a paradigm shift, which we heard a lot about today, in terms of how we think about sustainability, that it's not just the environment, it is the environment, but it's really people that are going to be the ones to actually make it happen.